all right what's up everybody in this episode we'll be talking about the new updates coming to the cybertruck and the model s so without further ado let's dive right in so first up we're going to start off by talking about the cybertruck as you can see this is a photo of a cybertruck that was spotted at the giga texas so you can see that massive windshield wiper side mirrors no more door handles and i noticed the lines on the bonnet are slightly curved than the prototype and this actually looks better than the prototype because the lines now just look more parallel to each other so here's a close-up view at the side mirrors so elon did mention that these mirrors are easily removable they just had to add them to the cybertruck because it's the law however the side repeater camera looks quite different on this particular cybertruck than the prototype now we can all agree the side repeater camera on the prototype looks a lot better than here not really so sure what's going on over here but we'll see what happens when the Cybertruck officially starts the deliveries. Now moving on to the door handles. So here you can see there's this white line on the B pillar. And this seems to be a backup in case an error occurs in the system. Now here's a view at that massive windshield wiper. What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. I honestly don't mind it too much. However, right over here you can see there's an instrument cluster. And it looks very similar to the one in the Model S and X refresh. Here in this picture, you can see the instrument cluster actually functioning. And the UI looks very similar to the one in the Model S and X refresh. So that is really awesome because the instrument cluster is much easier for looking at your speedometer. Whereas in the Model 3 and Y, you always have to look at the side. So as you can see, what's displaying on the instrument cluster, the Cybertruck, of course, has the automatic shift feature. And you can see the yoke steering wheel. Now here's a view at the trunk of the Cybertruck. As you can see, they added plastic to the trunk of the Cybertruck compared to the prototype. This matches more with current pickup trucks. However, the trunk on the Cybertruck prototype looks really cool compared to this one. But anyways, here's a view at the rear end. Now I love this. I love that giant light bar. And everything just looks so clean, very minimalist. It just looks so organized. It is, it's a beautiful rear end, the Cybertruck. And this is a perfect location for the license plate. Now in this picture, you can see they updated the charge port as well. On the prototype, the charge port was located on the body of the vehicle. I'm curious of how this is gonna work. We'll see when this vehicle starts delivering. So I'm super excited for the Tesla Cybertruck to start deliveries. Let me know in the comments down below what feature you guys are excited to see on the Cybertruck. Next up, the Model S. So currently on the Model S and X refresh, if you want to activate your horn, there's a touch sensitive button on the steering yoke. But in recent pictures, it seems like Tesla is going to add the horn back to the center of the yoke. Now I can understand why Tesla did a button for the horn because many people, if they are honking and then a crash occurs, the airbag blasts on their arm and then that causes them to have arm injuries. But in recent feedback, people did not enjoy it and they wanted the horn to be on the center of the steering yoke. And fortunately, it seems like Tesla will bring this back because everybody is used to the horn being on the center. So that's it. These are the new changes coming to these specific Teslas. Let me know in the comments down below what feature you guys are really excited to see for, whether it's the Model S or the Cybertruck. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thanks for watching this episode. Hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any new posts. Post a comment down below and catch you in the next one.